You can get to the history brush by pressing Y. So let's say that you made a few changes to an image. Let's uh, just do a couple of uh, very, very quick changes to this with the, uh, the stamp tool. Some changes that are good, some changes that are awful, just so I can demonstrate the functions of the history brush. All right, so let's say that you did some changes. You really like what you did with the, uh, the pimple fix. You're not particularly happy with what you did right here. Now, one thing that you could do here, let's just make this a little bit better. There we go. It's just a little bit better. I should have used the healing brush here rather than the uh, stamp. You don't care. Uh, so <laughs> you could go back to this original place in the history panel to get to the original things because this is where all of your multiple undos are located. Um, or if you want, you can use the history brush in order to go back in only part specific areas. So notice this little icon up right here. This is saying what you're going back to. Normally, it's the original image. So if I use this here, I'm able to go back to the original image without affecting this area or without affecting that area over there. And that's basically all of the history... Uh, brush does. Uh, one quick note uh, for anyone interested, if you want to have more undos, go into your preferences located on a Mac under Photoshop preferences and located on, on a PC under edit and then go to the bottom and you'll get preferences right there. And if you go to, uh, let's see, performance, you could actually change how many history states you have and you can change this all the way up to a thousand. If you want a lot of uh, undos, I suggest not going over 80 and that will actually give you more undos. Do. So that's a, another tip right there. Uh, also under this is the art history brush. And the art history brush is a good way to make your image look absolutely awful. Uh, it's kind of a, a kid picks sort of effect. And what you do is you stroke over it and you can make it look terrible. And there's all sorts of different options for how you want your image to look terrible. Now, if somebody has a better use for the art history brush, I am all ears because up to this point, I haven't heard of one, uh, but the history brush is pretty cool. One note with the history brush, it only works if the canvas size is the same when you started and how it is now, and if it's all happening on the same layer. And it's for that reason why it's better just to use non-destructive editing, which is something we won't be getting into here. For the full four hour Photoshop crash course, click on the link below. And to get more of the tools, just click on this link inside the video itself. Thanks for joining.